Hi, I'm Holly Echohawk. This briefing is all about financial sustainability. So what exactly does that mean? Well, let's put it this way. Have you ever been excited about receiving new funding for badly needed service for your community? And after you receive the funding and the staff and services are all in place, and after you see that the community's all excited about the services, reality sinks in. And then you start to worry about what will happen when the grant funding ends. That's where long-term financial sustainability comes into play. Without a sustainability plan, your services can start and stop just as your funding starts and stops. But no community needs to have the services jerked out from under them just because a funding grant has ended. So getting the funding is exciting, but figuring out ways to keep the services going after the funding ends is complicated especially if there are limited resources within tribal communities and certainly within today's economic environment. Sustainability of services that are known to improve the lives of young people should be simple to sustain, but often they're not. Sustainability requires attention and complex management. For American Indian and Alaska Native communities, sustainability can be a challenge for lots of reasons. For example, Many tribes are located in remote locations and have limited financial resources to support services. Tribal communities often have no tax base, so they don't have that as a revenue resource to support child and family services. Although a growing number of tribal communities have expanded into the world of business, much of the revenue generated is reinvested in business ventures and may not be as equally reinvested in human service programs and often the needs of some tribal communities may be so dire that when funding is received, the emphasis is on providing critical and urgent services, that is, to provide immediate help in any way possible. We can all understand that, but what happens is sometimes the focus on building the infrastructures to support long-term sustainability takes a back seat to responding to community crisis. Attention to building a strong organizational infrastructure, developing ways to measure the success of the services that are provided, creating contract management and financing structures, and planfully examining ways to diversify funding are all important behind-the-scenes aspects of building a foundation for sustainability. Recently, a two-year study of the sustainability efforts of diverse tribal communities was completed. The study was tribal-led and resulted in a summary of the successes and challenges of financing strategies used. The information collected illustrated the complexities of tribal financial sustainability, and some of this complexity included cultural and historical influences, the impact of historical trauma on planning, the role of tribal elected officials in sustainability stage setting, the interaction between tribal sovereign nations state governments and federal governments, the importance of outcome measures and benchmarks that demonstrate program success, and the need for infrastructures that can help to mobilize a wide range of funding sources. The tribal communities had much to share, which may be helpful to you and your efforts. We hope you find the information useful. Click on the link to download the entire summary of the study and to learn about other sustainability resources. And again, thank you for continuing to fight the good fight on behalf of our children and families.